Yellowstone Science now under USGS monitoring. Steamboat geyser eruption and Old Faithful still at the center. Will the caldera erupt? Yellowstone National Park, known for its stunning geothermal features, has become the focal point of intense scientific scrutiny as the United States Geological Survey USGS, intensifies its monitoring efforts. The Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, recently unleashed a powerful eruption, sending boiling water hundreds of feet into the sky. Meanwhile, Old Faithful, Yellowstone's most iconic geyser, continues its reliable eruptions, yet subtle changes in activity have raised concerns about the volcanic system beneath the park. The Steamboat Geyser awakens once again. In the early morning hours, Steamboat Geyser roared to life, releasing a column of steam and water more than 300 feet high. This eruption, the most significant in recent months, occurred after weeks of increased ground tremors and steam activity. USGS scientists have confirmed that the geyser's activity has become more unpredictable, with intervals between eruptions shortening since the beginning of the year. Steamboat's behavior is like a seismograph on steroids, said Dr. Lauren Peters, a leading geologist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO. When we see increased activity here, it often correlates with heightened underground activity in the park's hydrothermal system. Ground sensors recorded micro-earthquakes beneath the Norris Geyser Basin, where Steamboat resides. These quakes are caused by the movement of superheated water and pressurized steam within the Earth's crust. While such tremors are common in Yellowstone, the clustering of these quakes has prompted scientists to raise the park's alert level from green to yellow, a cautious but significant step. Old Faithful, a timeless clock with subtle shifts. Old Faithful remains faithful in name, but subtle irregularities have caught the attention of geologists. Traditionally erupting every 90 minutes, Recent observations indicate occasional delays and variations in eruption height. Researchers attribute these changes to alterations in the underground hydrothermal network, possibly linked to increased pressure from steamboats' activity. When we see one part of the system behave unusually, it's like a domino effect, explained Dr. Peters. Old Faithful shifts could be part of a broader reconfiguration of Yellowstone's underground plumbing. The Caldera, a sleeping giant under watchful eyes. Beneath Yellowstone lies one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth, a supervolcano caldera measuring approximately 30 miles wide. Its last cataclysmic eruption occurred 640,000 years ago, yet signs of underground unrest keep scientists vigilant. Recent satellite data from the European Space Agency revealed ground uplift near the caldera's eastern rim, with sections rising by up to 2.5 centimeters over the past month.